I shall speak to you frankly and honestly. Some of you may not agree fully with everything I say. Thank God in this blessed land we can still speak our convictions without fear. I have been in nations where this blessed privilege is no longer enjoyed. I am not here to tickle your ears, to entertain you. I will talk to you as one who loves this great nation. The message I bring is not a happy one, but it is the truth. And time is always on the side of truth. We have been plunging headlong down the primrose path toward the inevitable destruction of our great country. It is quite true that while the socialist communist conspiracy of itself does not have as yet the power necessary to do the job, it is nevertheless receiving vital aid and comfort from the Fabian socialists, fellow travelers, dupes and liberals that the communists are jubilant at the course of events. Truly the Fabian socialists in this country are rolling out the red carpet which will without doubt eventually result in the complete communist takeover of America. This is their hope, their plan, and their bold prediction. This is not to say that all those lending their support are consciously helping the Congress. Undoubtedly, there are many well-meaning people who have been misled and confused. I fear for the future when I realize that for some 30 years, our once free institutions, political, economic, educational, and social, have been drifting into the hands of those who favor the welfare state and who would centralize all power in the hands of the political apparatus in Washington. This enhancement of political power at the expense of individual rights, so often disguised as democracy, is socialism. name tag it bears. More is needed than merely to say that we are opposed to communism. We must aggressively take action to defeat it. It is the duty of all Americans to fully understand the true import of this threat to our heritage, to expose it and to combat it with every weapon at our command. It is the duty of freedom-loving people to oppose and resist this evil with all the strength God has given us. If we do not, we stand to lose all we and our forebears have gained through the centuries. The real threat is here at home. The Communist Party in this country has attempted to infiltrate and subvert every segment of our society. Unjust criticism of the anti-communists, anti-socialists helps the conspiracy and is dangerous to our future. 
There is no place here in America for part-time patriots. This nation is face to face with the greatest danger ever to confront it. A sinister and deadly conspiracy which can be conquered only by an alert, informed citizen. It is indeed appalling that some members of our society continue to deplore and criticize those who stress the communist danger. Public indifference to this threat is tantamount to national suicide. Lethargy leads only to disaster. If you use the scriptures as a guide, you know what the Book of Mormon has to say regarding murderous conspiracies in the last day. I find certain elements in the church do not like to see the Book of Mormon and Doctrine and Covenants so much. It has too much to say about freedom. <laughs>